All right, we're going to watch this little Tenacious D uh, bit just to take a little break, but uh, just to like take a little break, so, from me talking. All right, so, check it. Hi, I'm Jack Black. You probably know me from my movies and music. And that's why you'll understand why what I'm about to talk about is very important to me. Piracy. Look, super mega rock and roll gods and superstars are just regular dudes like you guys. We punch the clock, we put on the pants, and then we blow people's minds. That's how we make a living. And then these pirates come and they steal all our internets. I don't know how they do it. But these pirates can bust into our entertainers' homes, make us walk the plank, steal our rockin' tunes, and leave us broke. And you know what that means. No cash, no inspiration. No inspiration, no rocket sauce. No rocket sauce, no kick-ass rock and roll or movies. Is that what you want, Mr. Long John Silver? What's your parrot gonna listen to when you go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the English Armada? Jazz? I don't think so. Don't be a douche. Stop piracy. This is Jack Black. Jackie and I are on a mission to stop piracy. If this were a movie, we could take on the bad guys ourselves. But this is the real world. We need your help. When you buy pirate movie and music, you support criminals. Now these criminals are counterfeiting other things, like electronics and medicine. Take action. Demand the real thing. Help us stop piracy. Let's terminate it. Let's terminate it. <laughs> the governor. It's crazy. Y'all Californians out there, you had him as a governor. It is insane. Anyways, uh, yeah, just like to show a little, um, you know, anti-piracy, uh, you know, videos that were made and propaganda that have been made. Um, but I ask this question. If you use someone's Spotify or Netflix account, and you log in with their information, is it piracy? Mm. Is it an unauthorized use? Mm. Yes! It is, right? It's unauthorized. You're pirating the value of something, right? You may not be stealing, it may not be theft, but you're pirating value. So here's just some numbers so you can just understand this. Again, I think the important part here is like, think about who makes these numbers. It's the industry. It's the industries. They paint themselves as, as victims, as you saw in copyright math. But about one in five pieces of software in the United States are unlicensed. I'm looking at some of y'all. Um, you know, and it, it, the, no, the number's even higher globally where it's 42% of software is predicted to be unlicensed. And this amounts to upwards of $60 billion in losses. Could be more, could be less. And again, theft of value, right? You may not buy Photoshop or you may not, you know, buy Final Cut Pro if you have to. But if you can get it for free, why the hell not? Hollywood television industry claims to lose upwards of $10 billion a year. Music industry claims at least $12.5 billion in sales which is really hard to think about because at like its highest point, the music industry in the United States was only worth like $14 billion. Um, and I say that, like, how could you have, so now the music industry is only worth a bill and a half? I don't think so. Um, 70,000 jobs, two, 2 billion in wages. Again, these are, these are all estimates, okay? And, um, you know, if you look, you know, <laughs> who knows, right? Like, 95% of music that's downloaded is unauthorized. An average iPhone has $800 in pirated music. That's kind of like an old statistic because like you probably don't have any music on your iPhone because you just stream shit, right? But like back in the day, you know, when we had music on our devices and didn't just stream from clouds, you know, uh, there's a lot of torrented or unauthorized music on those places. Um, but I think the important thing is, you know, remember that copyright math is about loss in value, not actual loss, not actual damages. It's about loss in potential value. Okay. And these numbers, you know, um, these numbers are created by guess who? Trade associations like the RIAA who represents the recording industry, the MPAA who represents the film industry, the video game industry, book industry, all of these industries have their own, um, you know, uh, 
regulators, these, these organizations, um, you know, these trade organizations, they do many things. Um, they come up with numbers about piracy. They lobby um, on behalf of the, the industry in Congress. They serve multiple functions. The MPA uh, uh, rates movies, you know, um, gives them ratings. And that's obviously there's an economic imperative to whether your film gets a PG or a PG-13 rating. If it gets a PG-13, you're limiting your audience. If it gets an R rating, you're way limiting your audience. We also have ASCAP, CSAC, and BMI. These are performance rights organizations. These um, com uh, PROs, um, you know, they collect royalties and advocate on behalf of, sing of songwriters and composers, so people who write songs, okay? And they also generate a lot of this stuff. All right, so we're going to get into a little bit of South Park, a little clip from South Park. Um, so press play on this, and then we'll chat about, like, what do we, what do we learn from the boys? <laughs> 